it's up to me, I can show you my world, we can go through it all. Hey guys, so I'm back with a makeup tutorial and this is sponsored by DivaTress.com and all of the products that I'll be using is from the company called Absolute New York. So I'm just going to start off with my face. This is their Flawless Face Foundation Primer and I'm so sorry you guys, I'm going to have a separate eyebrow tutorial using Absolute New York products coming up real soon. So now I'm going to be using the HD Flawless Foundation and the color that I got is Sienna. But I just wanted to show you guys that I did pick up another uh, couple of foundation shades. Just trying to see which one would match me. You girls know how it is when you're buying foundation online. It's a hit or miss. So the first one that I'm showing you is I believe Almond and the second one is Coffee. So I did go ahead and order Sienna on my own and that's what you see me here applying right now. <laughs> So this is a water-based foundation and you're going to see in a second how I discovered that it was a water-based foundation. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, it dripped on me. So I would advise you to shake well before using. And here I'm just applying it. I did go ahead and add a second coat after this one. So yeah, it says it's a second skin perfecting coverage foundation and it has vitamin E in it. And it says it's lightweight water-based formula and I absolutely love it. It says it gives a smooth and natural finish and I completely agree. So you've all seen me use this on Instagram Live and I believe I used it in one of my last tutorials but this is their Radiant Cover Concealer and oh my god you guys I absolutely love this concealer as you can see. I'm putting down uh, the darkest shade first which is medium warm and then I'm going in on top with my light medium warm neutral. So guys, I've been dying to try out this HD cover stick and I decided to go with the shade Truffle and I'm just going to contour with it. I could have used a liquid, but I decided to go ahead with this one. This actually is the perfect shade to contour for me. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just perfect. So yes, you guys, Absolute New York has a Pro Contour Palette. And as you can see, it's really, really inexpensive. Everything that I'm showing you guys is really inexpensive. And I'm pretty sure you can find these at your local uh, beauty supply store. But I got everything that I'm showing you, again, from divatress.com. So be sure to check them out. So here I'm just using that shade to pretty much set everywhere that I contour and honestly you guys I thought that that shade would be a little too light for me but it, it worked out pretty well as you can see okay you guys so that is the look of fear on my face because I'm trying out this translucent powder for the first time with you all they do have another shade in banana I believe but they didn't have it in stock so I went ahead with this one so you want to make sure you don't have any creasing under your eyes before you add your translucent powder and yeah so I'm just adding just a light coat 
a light coat because like I said, I'm using it for the first time and I didn't want to, you know, risk having a white cast. But as you can see, it blended in very well and I actually do like it. So now moving on with my eyes and I am using their absolute primer. This primer is really good and I must say a little goes a long way. So don't use as much as I did because you have to blend for your life <laughs> like I did. So yeah, I didn't have a transition shade. So I used the Pro Contour Palette that I used earlier to set my contour. And I absolutely love the shade for a transition shade. It worked out so perfectly. So I'm going to be using the True Elements palette that I received from them as well. And you guys, I usually don't go for these types of palettes because they're usually powdery and they get into my contacts and irritate my eyes. Just irritating altogether. But this one, I was very impressed. All of the shadows were very buttery and I used every single color in this palette. I did get a little bit of fallout, so make sure you have some type of powder under your eyes just to catch that fallout. But all in all, I'm very impressed with this palette and I think you would like it too. So now that I have my crease colors down, you guys, I'm going to go in with this Pure Metal Veil eyeshadow. This is actually an eyeshadow, but I'm going to be using it today as a base because it's just so pretty. Do you see that? Like, oh my God, it comes with a brush, but I decided to go ahead and use, you know, my own little tiny brush because I have smaller lids. So I just wanted to get that in there. And you guys, it just... It's so nice. You can wear it by itself because it dries down to a nice metallic finish and it's just so pretty. So remember earlier when I told you guys that these shades are so buttery? They are so buttery that you can use your fingers. So I'm just using my finger to apply the green eyeshadow to my lid. And you guys, like I'm so impressed with this palette. I think I'm going to go back and get some more of them because... It's just a really, really nice palette and I was able to achieve a complete eye look just using this palette alone. Doing it right, yeah. 
So of course, Absolute has eyeliners, but I decided to go with this one because you can kind of control how you want your lines to be. If you want it to be thick, you just, you know, flip the uh, eyeliner over. And if you want it to be thin, do the same. It's all up to you and how you want your eyeliner to look. But I was very impressed. This one is very black. I was surprised and it went on very well. So I chose this mascara, but again, this one didn't really do anything for my lashes. I don't wear falsies anymore, so I need something that's going to make my lashes pop. And this one, again, just didn't really do it for me. So eh, to each his own, but yeah, just trying to be honest. So I went in on my waterline with this Absolute Gel Liner and mine's is in black. And as you can see, it comes in an array of colors. I was very impressed on how smooth it applied to my eyes. I didn't have any problems, no irritation or anything like that. So now this is their HD Flawless Foundation. Of course, I already have foundation on my face, but I wanted to kind of see how this worked as far as the color because it was really dark and that's why my face looked like that. And they do have a setting powder, you guys, but I didn't pick that up. I really wanted to try this one and I really like it. I mean, I did go ahead later on and set my face with their uh, mist spray. I think that's what it's called, but you'll see it later on in the video. So I really did like the color. And here I am just going in with my lip liner. This is in chocolate. You guys, when I tell you this lip liner goes on so smooth. Like I took off all of the gloss off my lips and it was still smooth going on. So I really do like that. And of course, I went in with their lipstick. This is one of their velvet lippies. I got maybe two or three of them this one is terracotta and i absolutely love them as well they do go on really smooth as well and it dries down to a matte finish so now what is the finished product without a highlighter? You guys, they have a highlighter. It's called Afterglow. Well, they have two actually. Mine's I got in Afterglow, which has like a peachy undertone to it. And as you can see, it goes on really nice. I would suggest using your fingers, not any type of brush, because then you'll just put too much. But yeah, I love this entire brand. I encourage you guys to check down below in the description box. It'll take you right to... Uh, divatrust.com beauty site and just type in absolute and everything that I'm showing you guys will definitely pop up so if you guys like this video please don't forget to hit thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more tutorials and yeah so I will talk to you all later bye thanks for watching I got some